Alright guys, this is my blow by blow breakdown of how it's gonna go with Carlos Condit and Robbie Lala. Now I did mine completely different from most analysts. They're the expert. I'm just a guy in the fight here. And I fight myself. So I think let me roll my sleeves up. I fight myself, so I think I know how it's gonna break down. All right. Here's what I did. Went back and looked at every fight these guys, almost every fight, not every, almost every fight these guys have ever been in. And for me, it came down to, let me read my stats right here, my stat card. The UFC, here we go, 154, Conant versus GSP. The reason why I chose, G, chose GSP, he has that same type of explosive from the hip jab. That Robbie Lawler has, and that was a, like a serious issue for Carlos Condon. And he had that raw aggression where he was picking up Condon and slamming him down towards the end. But keep in mind that Condon's submission ratio is almost a zero. He either strikes you or he breaks you. He, he's not into the submission thing. I get that. But I just chose that the GSP thing because of the aggression. All right. The next fight I went for, no, was, um, it was... Rory McDonald, Rory McDonald going up against no UFC 189. You see that? I, I watched some of them fights, I got the mix up, but UFC 189 that's the one that I believe is gonna boil down to be like. And the reason why I chose Rory McDonald is that okay, he's six foot, Condit is six foot two, and his reach his arm reach is only one inch more than Condit but the, in terms of stats and submission they're pretty close in body type and fighting style so that was the reason why I went with the UFC 189 and I think it's similar I think it's gonna go the distance I think it's gonna be some banging now what I did know in my notes is this Rob Lala is striking the 71 percent and his takedown is 29 percent now here's where the, I think the different comes in. If if Condit can get Lala out in deep waters, do not go for the takedown early. Do not try to bang on the legs. Drag him out, get him open, and then afterwards you soften him up. Go for the takedown. Things start pounding on him. But he's so big and muscular, that might not even be an option for you. So my breakdown... Here's what I got going. I don't think it's going to be good at distance. I think it's going to be a... It's just me. I think it's going to be a second or a third round knockout by Lawler. I think what's going to happen, and I watched this many, many times, like video after video after video, all night. Every night, every time, Condit throws that switch kick, which he loves so much, he drops his hand to get the body motion. Now I went back to an old fight, you know. And so that's how hungry that's how bad I'm in love with this with this fight business. I went back to an old strike first fight. It was made off versus Lala. And made off was banging on the leg, banging on the leg, and Lala just let him have the leg. Step back like this, did the thing roll up, then right overhand, bam. And that's what's gonna happen if 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 Condit charges it, he's going to get right overhand knockout. Second or third round. That's the way I'm calling that one straight up. Based on the stats and what I've seen. Now, it's not to rule out Condit. I believe that Condit can pull off a win if he did the same, if he does the same exact thing Rory McDonald does. But this time, avoid the explosive jab. Every time that Lala throws the explosive jab, his body because when you when you're exploding from the hip and your legs for some reason he does he, you know he this is this, this is his head movement and that's the opening if he could that if he can do that duck move like he did with gsp and then the leg over he can get one good time just one good time right across the jaw with that leg then he'll take out kind of but that's not gonna go down in the first or the second round because kind is gonna be very 
when he start when he first start he's very aggressive you have to wait you have to just make him respect you first back him up get that aggression out of him then after he starts respecting you then that's when you start opening up but if you go in there to stand and bang hard the i said hmm, i'm on the internet so they can't find me <laughs> you're gonna get the jose aldo right though you, you gotta you gotta be disciplined restrain yourself wear him down don't throw leg kicks crazily this guy if you try to throw leg kick crazy he has no problem letting you kick his leg because he knows that right overhand is coming once you start seeing with the cell phone battery move and he's up here expect that right overhand so don't don't go for the leg kicks early bang on his head bang on his body pound him make him back back him up so if Condit wins it it's also if Condit wins it's either gonna be by a submission going the distance or a knockout i say submission first because his submission ratio is very high and then the, 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 the number that number of the his submission ratio is 51 percent and his striking is 38. now he's going up against a full-time striker if he can accurately strike avoid that explosive jab and the right overhand then he may be able to get the submission once he wears Lala down. But Lala has a very good, strong wrestling background, just like GSP. So he'll pick him up and slam him around. And that's why I went with the GSP fight with Condit. That's why I chose that one. So, he, so his best bet is not to go for the submission early. Drag it out. Drag it out. Then that same move you did with GSP, that slight fake switch kick, and bam to the head. But not don't execute the switch kick early. That was a sorry. That was a roundhouse, Muay Thai roundhouse that caught GSP after the combination. I I, I just remember that. I just flashed into my mind. If kind of win, it's gonna be by a, a head kick, head kick, and then afterwards the straight punch either to the jaw, hammer fist, or just open them up. That's the only way he's gonna get the kill. If you try and stand and bang with Robbie Lala, it's not gonna happen. His boxing skills are far superior than yours. As a matter of fact, his striking is at 71 percent So that's his bread and butter. You don't wanna go in his his territory, he's a stronger opponent. So I got Condit. If Condit win, he's gonna be in the fourth round by head kick. Fourth, fourth or fifth round by head kick. But if in the fifth round, the aggression factor, everybody tried to push harder if it's by points to get more. So kind of would probably get exhausted and loose like he did. And then bam, you, you, you hit him with a head kick and get him down. But you got to start working on the liver and the head early. Uh, take down his 11, 11%. That's not going to work against this guy. You don't want to take him down. The reason why you don't want to take down Lala, his takedown is 29%. He's a far superior wrestler. Don't try that. Don't 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 go there. Don't go don't go there. Yes, then you're going up against an opponent that's statistically superior to you. What you have to do when face a strong opponent is drag them out, get them comfortable. Then you start to work those pockets. The explosive jab, his head goes down. When you get into the right overhand, he goes up like this. That's where you have to make your openings. So I got this going. Let me recap, and I'm. I, I, this is. I, I can go on about this. I've been watching some of the fights all night, so I got. If Condit wins, it's gonna be either by submission in the fourth round or knockout in the fourth round. If Condit, I'm calling Condit for the fourth round. If it goes to the fifth round, then it's gonna have to go to. It's gonna go to the card, and Lala is gonna take it. Cause you know he bangs hard. Goes to the fifth round, and then Condit may get that submission, but it's hard to get that guy in his back. But for this fight, I'm ruling Condit doing a submission is out of the question. Lala, Lala is the far superior guy. His his body, his type, he's much more stronger. So there's no way Kind's gonna get the submission. This is gonna go to an all out strike. But if it goes to the card, there's only two ways that Kanye can win here. So with the card or with knockout. But I'm but I got Kanye if he wins gonna be a fourth round knockout, head kick and then bam like he did with GSP. But Lala if Lala wins is gonna be when Kanye does that switch kick with the overhand. No the final analysis. I don't know why I'm leaning towards Condit. I don't know why I'm leaning towards him. I'm just leaning toward. I don't know why I'm leaning towards him. But I gotta fight the urge. I hate going with the pack. Maybe that's what it is. So I'm calling this one for 
uh, it's gonna be that knockout just like he did. It's like oh, kind of, it's like oh, Lala knocked out Melvin Mill off with that overhand right after he did the kick because the switch kick is the kicks is is, is what kind of love. If kind of did, even if kind of goes the same way that Roy McDonald did, I think it's still gonna go the same. It's still gonna have the same same effect. The only way it kind of can pull this off is to drag it out, let Lala get curious and take him. But if I gun to my head, I had to make a choice. My money's on Lala with the right overhand knockout in the second or third round. I just moved that up a bit, but second or third round. If it goes to the fourth, then it's not gonna be the right overhand. If it goes to the fourth, he's gonna take him, he's gonna have he's gonna go with the jab and then follow up with a hook. So that's what I got. I, I got it. I, I call it for Lala. I'm sorry, Condit. I love you. I love your fighting style. I love the fact that you're multidimensional. But I, I got I just I got Lala on this one. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Prove me wrong, and and, and I'll, 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 I I can't. I'll, I'll buy you a drink, you know. Yeah. So just prove me wrong. Sorry, man. I right, peace out.